I think it was a good win for us. I think um, coming off a loss, especially in the second half, we started to put things together. And I think it was a really good performance, both offensively and defensively, for us specifically in the second half. And I think um, we had people who step up. I think we had, uh, I think Sharp and Z, these two guys played great last night. And they kind of led the team in that aspect. And I think it was good to get a whole team going, playing well at the same time. Uh, I just was able to get in the rhythm. Um, Drew found me uh, wide open on one of the first plays of the half, and I was able to get an in rhythm, wide open shot to kind of get me going. And then uh, after that, I just kind of found myself open several times and just was able to knock some shots down. This is for tonight. Uh, second half, you had a big game. Would you consider that your best performance so far at Northern last night? Um, yeah, I would, I would probably say it was my better performance. I feel like. Um, the things I did yesterday had a direct impact on the game. I feel like it was it, when I'm more aggressive, the team plays much better and flows better. So, yeah, I would say that. And this is for Drew. Uh, it's normal to see you get points and rebounds, double figures, but last night assists. What was different last night that allowed you to get that many assists? I think it was just the way the game was being played. Uh, going in, we had a game plan. We knew they were going to double me quick on the post, and uh, my teammates had it going. I was just getting them the ball and they were making shots, making plays. And I think it wasn't anything real special. I just kind of, I was just passing. I just knew the game plan. I knew they were going to come, just get the ball out, trust my teammates and let them make plays. And they were hitting shots. I mean, you saw Walt hit some shots, Tyler hit a lot of shots, Z hit some shots. And the ball's going through the hoop and it wasn't anything for us. It just kind of happened. No. I've never had one. No. Nope. The only one I can think of is when we played at Michigan. And the reason I remember this, Karis Levert had a triple-double. But the only reason I remember is because it was in the second half, and I missed a free throw, and he got his 10th rebound. And the place went nuts, and we had no idea why. I'm like, I just missed a free throw. Like, you guys are up like 10. That's the only reason I remember he had a triple-double, though. I think we knew uh, that they would have a chance to to keep uh, it close with whoever they got matched up with um, just because of the way they, they shoot the ball. Last year, they were a really good shooting team. Um, so going into the tournament like that, um, upsets happen when teams can shoot because we go in and make some shots. But I mean, I don't necessarily um, know how they're much different this year, just the same as we are. So we'll go with the coaches and get a game plan ready to see how they play this year. Um, maybe initially, yeah, just because we've played them. But just looking at it, uh, UMBC wasn't a big name that a lot of people like mark on their calendars. Like everyone thought Vermont was going to win that conference. But playing them, we knew they were a really good team. And we knew they could spray, space the floor, shoot the ball really well. They had some senior leadership. And we knew they were a very dangerous team going in. So it wasn't a surprise to us how they performed in the tournament. But maybe it was a surprise to America just based on the game that we played, we saw they had that in them.